what's up everyone this is Asadullah Chaudhary and in this video lesson I'm gonna show you how you can make a responsive navigation menu for your website so I'll be using only HTML5 and CSS3 alright so now let me go ahead to open up my text editor I'm gonna create a file and I'm gonna save it at as index.html the so first I need to create a directory that will that will be containing my files I'm gonna name this responsive navbar and the file name is going to be index.html I need another file which is going to be style sheet I would like to put my style sheet inside public and then CSS directory style.css okay so I'm gonna I'm gonna generate my basic mockup HTML and we are ready to go the first line is gonna be meta char set UTF 8 you must use this line in your every HTML file viewport content is gonna be width equals to device width and then initial scale is equal to 1 alright responsive navigation menu I'm gonna link my external style sheet which is inside public CSS and then style style.css okay so I'm gonna create a header which will be containing my navigation menu top apple will be containing my logo as well as my navigation bar going to use an unordered list to create my navigation menu and then some list items I'm going to put my links inside the list item tags the first link is going to be home second third fourth and fifth the second is going to be services the third is going to be products the fourth is going to be contact the fifth is gonna be about I have to add some text inside my style sheet so that it can be easily appeared in my Mozilla Firefox tools developer tools okay so now let me open up this file in my browser so the file looks like this I'm gonna open it up into Mozilla Firefox instead of Google Chrome Google Chrome is my default browser so that's why my file was initially loaded in Google Chrome so here's my style sheet first of all I'm gonna target the header before going further I should I should write the reset rule asterisk padding 0 margin 0 
I'm just resetting the margins and paddings of each of the element av av available on my HTML document. So asterisk means I'm targeting all of the elements in one go. Now I'm going to target the header. I'm going to give it some height. Height is going to be 400 pixels. Background color is going to be light gray, which is E6, E6, E6. So now I'm going to target the top wrapper. Border top is going to be one pixel solid gray. Border bottom is going to be one pixel solid gray. Padding top just to push down my navigation menu from the top. It's going to be 50 pixels. Okay. So now I have to target my logo. It should be float left. And font size should be 30 pixels I'm gonna target the nav it should be float right seems like I'm, I'm targeting the wrong nav I forgot to gi give it an ID so I suppose target it by the element name instead so the navigation has been fluted left. And I have to fix the flute side effect after content display block. Okay, both perfect. I'm going to target my UL, uh, which is inside nav, and I'm going to remove these bullets from here. List style none. nav ul li I want to put my link side by side so that's why I'm going to float my list items this is what I wanted now I'm going to target my link tags the anchor tags I'm going to give it display block property width is going to be 130 pixels font size is going to be 20 pixels color is going to be black text decoration none I should remove this uh, menu text. I think. 
think I should remove this. Now it looks perfect. Okay, so now I have to vertically align my navigation links. Line height is going to be 1.5, which looks perfect. How about 6? Yeah, the 6 looks uh, the perfect. Okay, so now I'm going back to my logo. So I'm going to style this logo and there is an anchor tag which I suppose to target now color is gonna be hash 000 which is black text decoration none margin left is gonna be 50 pixels yeah, the so far then uh, so far navigation bar looks like this okay so if I reduce the width this is uh, this is I guess 772 pixels let me show you how you can make it sure that what uh, let me show you how you can make sure about the width of your page. Paste, refresh. It's uh, Google Chrome and I have to click the inspect elements. Now I have to reduce my page. It's 800. You can see the dimensions on right top corner. The width is 800 pixels. So the as soon as width goes to the 800 pixels, it should act as responsive. I mean that way the links will be dis disappeared and a button will be appeared instead. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to write a media query. max width seven seventy nine pixels or eight hundred there you can see the media query has the black color now look at this box line number 28 if I increase the size the color goes to gray what does it mean that means the media query is not activated yet as soon as the width goes to 800 pixels the media query will be activated I think I shouldn't use 800 but I should use 900 instead Nine hundred would be perfect. Okay, so now I have to target my nav after content and content is going to be menu Now here I have to now here I have to uh, hide my navigation links. So all I have to do is to hide nav 
ul display none I'm again gonna target nav I'm gonna give it some background color which is uh, red I'm gonna give it some height which is 20 pixels some width 20 pixels and I am gonna put the menu text once again if I refresh the page the menu looks like this I should remove the width and height and also the background color size is going to be 20 pixels width 50 pixels how about 70 pixels the 70 looks perfect solid 1 pixel gray border doesn't look good okay so the line height is gonna be 1.6 this looks perfect now all right and not 1.6 but it should be 1.7 instead and if I take the cursor on nav the text should be underlined text decoration underline it looks perfect cursor is gonna be pointer all right as soon as I click the nav button the UL should be appeared display block there you can see if I click the menu the UL disappears actually not clicking the menu but it should be hovering the menu as soon as I hover over the menu text the drop down should be appeared okay and I'm gonna give it some positioning the positioning uh, is going to be relative position absolute so this looks perfect now so now I have to target my drop down O U N D background color is gonna be hash F F F which is white 
width is going to be 200 pixels left minus 50 pixels padding left should be 20 pixels and I should use RGB instead of background color I will apply some opacity as well RGBA so the first color is gonna be Two fifty five, two fifty five, two fifty five, which is white, and zero point five is opacity. Now it looks better. pixels 55 pixels shouldn't be 55 pixels but how about 50 pixels how about 45 pixels 35 pixels yeah 35 pixels looks perfect all right just one thing remaining if I increase the page, page width the navigation links are uh, navigation links are appeared and this menu text also appeared so I want it to be hidden so all I have to do is to go back to my style sheet and I'm gonna write another media rule this time it's gonna be minimum width 9 901 pixels and I'm gonna target nav and span that is containing the menu and all I have to do is to write display none so now I have uh, successfully created this horizontal responsive navigation bar if I increase the page width that looks perfect if I reduce the page width it will be adjusted according to all screen sizes alright then hope you like this video tutorial and uh, if you want any of these more you can ask me alright then take care bye bye